One of the amazing functionalities in Power Query is the possibility to transform data using M code stored in VAT file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform data transformation in Power Query using M code in text file. Therefore, let's get started. Before we dive into this, let's explain the sample data. This is a sales data, and of course, we can see the data is displayed horizontally. So our goal is to transform the data to display the data vertically. Now, in row number one, we have what is called the serial number that are unique to each date values. In row number two, we have the list of transactions for the product. And in row number three, we have the list of the payment type. In row number four, the units number five the price and number six the sales amount now our goal is to transpose this data perform some cleanups and then use the code in the advanced editor stored in a text file to clean up the same data set so let's dive into this demonstration now the first thing i'm going to do is to apply table or format the data as an extra table now i can use the two keyboard shortcodes Control T or Control L. Now, Control L also brings up the Create Table dialog box. Now, by default, my table is checked automatically. So, my table has error. So, I'm going to uncheck that and then click OK. Now, the data is now formatted, stored in an Excel table. And of course, we can see column 1 to column 1782. This simply means we have 1,782 records of transaction. So what I'm gonna do next is to right click and choose get data from table slash range, which is gonna launch the Power Query Editor because the data is officially stored in an Excel table by pressing Control L. Alternatively, I can come to the data tab under the get transform data group. I can choose from table slash range, and that's going to launch the Power Query Editor with a table in the editor. And there we go. So the data is now officially in the Power Query Editor. Now, what I'm going to do next is to come to the Transform tab under the table. I'm going to choose Transpose. And there we go. So the data has been transposed from the horizontal display to vertical layout, and which is super cool. Now, the next thing I want to do is to apply the right data types. Now, the first column, column one, is actually showing the serial number that are unique to each of the date values. So I'm going to right click and choose change type, or I can even come to this little icon and choose date. And there we go, the data is now transformed to the proper date data type. So I can rename and call this date, click enter to commit. And for the text field, this is going to be the Pay product and then we have the payment type so select by clicking down the shift key and then column three right click and i want to choose the text data type and then i can rename this as products and then rename as payment type and click enter to commit and for the other three columns this is going to be a whole number data type so whole number and then i can rename and call this unit hold on the shift key select the column c's right click change type and this will be currency and then we can rename individually and call this price and then the column c's this is going to be the sales amount then click enter now we're going to maintain the same table one because based on what i discover if this name changes the code will not work if i want to try to use that in the evaluate expression dot evaluate back function so i'm going to maintain the same table one which is very important so i'm going to come to the view tab and then click on the advanced editor so we can see all the code here you can even scroll down we have a bunch of code okay so i'm going to just press ctrl a to select all the code Ctrl C to copy into the clipboard and then let's open a new notepad Ctrl V and there we have the code and I'm going to choose file and save as let's just call this one code and then I'm going to save into this my code folder in the music environment so click on save 
I can click on the close the notepad. I can close the advanced editor and I'm going to discard the Power Query changes. So just discard and I'm going to close the Excel workbook. I'm not going to save anything. And then I can come to the My Code and we have the code in the notepad. So I can actually investigate the so goods everything is working fine. So I'm going to go back and reopen the Excel workbook. Double click. And I'm going to apply the same control T to format as an Excel table on check my table as errors and then click OK. And of course, we maintain the same table one, which is super important for this operation to work. Now, what I'm going to do is come to the data tab under the get data. I want to come to from other sources and I want to choose a blank query because we have to fire that from a blank query using the advanced editor so let's see the power query editor coming up and there we go so we have query one just a blank query now i'm going to come to the view tab and then click on the advanced editor and then we have this code basically i'm going to delete this i can retain this name so the first thing i'm going to do is to use the text dot from binary m function so text dot from binary now when you click on this little icon you can see the definition it decodes data from a binary form into text so i'm going to press the tab key to select and then open the brackets now for the binary i'm going to use the file dot content to access the content from my c drive so file dot content and this will return the content of the specified file as binary so press the tab key and then open the parentheses and inside double quotes now i'm going to go to my c drive that particular location where the file is stored so i'm going to come back here and then i'm going to double click this my code and i want to access this you know extension now basically it's going to show me my code but i need a backward slash to access the name of the file which is code.txt which is very important when i click on that this opens the notepad so just close these and then click back into, into this environment Control c and this is exactly what we needed and i'm going to come to the excel the power query and inside the double quote Control v to paste and then just put in a comma and click enter now the next thing we need to do is to use the expression dot evaluate to evaluate the source and then we can access the content so i can just give this you know a name let's just call it you know code cell or anything like you can use this just a label equals now we're going to use the expression dot evaluate now this m function returns the result of evaluating an m code it's going to be the source so press the tab key and open the brackets now for the document i'm going to pass in this you know source and control v comma now for the environment i'm just going to use the hash sign share and that's all i need to do just copy this code cell and pass that into the in function so control v to paste and this is all the code we need to do so basically the source equals to text dot from binary and inside that we pass we use the file dot content and then we pass in the extension from my c drive and then the user my name inside my music and then this folder and then we have this code dot txt and then we just use a label and then we use the expression dot evaluate which is very important and then we just pass in the same label so just go ahead and click ok and this is the moment of truth there we go this is amazing so we can see we have the data inside the power query transform and which is super cool now, hope you enjoyed this video if you do like share with your friends and comment thank you and bye for now cheers